That theme song could only mean one thing. NFL mania is in full swing once again. Touchdown Jets! It's game day. Even the Swifties are watching, and they are ready. Swifties, it's time to get into the drama with the Chiefs. Who are their rivals? Here's a youth with a catch and a first down at the 35. In the showcase Monday night football game on ABC, the San Francisco 49ers facing off with the New York Jets. An impressive start here tonight. The 49ers coming away with the win. The game ultimately a rusty return for their 40-year-old star quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Other fan favorite players returning to primetime, Tom Brady and Jason Kelsey making their off-field TV debuts as analysts. He was in total control today. Kelsey on ESPN and Brady on Fox. And another star getting into the game, Kendrick Lamar, announced as the Super Bowl halftime headliner. The NFL is our national pastime. The fan base is extraordinary. The TV ratings are off the charts. Almost all the top shows at the end of the year are NFL football games. It is just one of the great American success stories that keeps building on itself. It is entertainment. It is sports. It is Americana. Final three seconds from Brazil. The game going global. The Philadelphia Eagles and Green Bay Packers marking a historic moment this weekend, playing the first NFL game ever in Sao Paulo, Brazil. What a day! NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell talking about the sports expansion on CNBC. We have 38 million fans here already. We hope this will really ignite this uh, market and really become passionate football fans. We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars probably billions of dollars over the lifetime of contracts. A football frenzy, all culminating in tonight's Monday night game in the Bay Area, featuring Aaron Rodgers. Almost exactly a year ago, Rodgers suffered a horrific season-ending Achilles injury, just four plays into his debut with the Jets. I really thought, damn, that's how I'm going to go out. Yeah. Rodgers sitting down with Alex Smith from our sister network ESPN. I don't know if you hear it now. Now it's, you know, we're 40, you're 40, Achilles, like, you're not going to be the same. You're not going to be the guy from a couple years later. Like, is, how, how do you deal with that? I enjoy it. I think we all need the little extra inspiration to to play as long as we have. You have to be self-motivated. So you have to be able to wake up in the morning and push yourself out the door, even on the toughest days. But we also need to be inspired a little bit. And having that, that doubt, the negativity, it's just that little extra inspiration that I just am so thankful for. On the sidelines, cheering on his teammates tonight, 49ers rookie Ricky Pearsall, who just last week was shot in the chest during an attempted robbery in San Francisco. By the grace of God, he's still here with us, um, and we're praying for him. We love him, and just wishing him a speedy recovery. This really makes you stop and reflect on how precious life is, and he's a very fortunate young man. Pearsall is expected to make his NFL debut next month. One can imagine the roar in the crowd when he is back on the field. And of course, he's never played for the 49ers before in a regular season game because he's a rookie. But not all the games went off without a hitch. In Miami, before the start of the Dolphins-Jaguars game, superstar wide receiver Tyreek Hill was detained and handcuffed by police for a traffic violation. An officer in the incident has since been placed on administrative duties. Miami-Dade police releasing this body camera video of the incident. Hill's legal team saying they're exploring all legal remedies. Hill later nodding to the encounter with a unique touchdown celebration. The Miami Dolphins releasing a statement tonight saying in part, it is both maddening and heartbreaking to watch the very people we trust to protect our community use such unnecessary force and hostility toward these players and that they urge swift and strong action against the officers involved in the incident. But even with the NFL's biggest stars out in full force this week, all eyes were on number 87 last week, Travis Kelsey, his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, feeling so high school in Kansas City last week. Runs away to find space, fires on the run to Kelsey to the 30-yard line. A perfect play for Patrick Mahomes to set the Chiefs record for most passing yards. I mean, it, it's just a complete new different demographic that she's brought in. Her influence across the world is undeniable. And the fact that she was able to bring in people who really knew nothing about the NFL and nothing about the league, and they now have this passion for it. And now this year, Swifties have come to play. Ladies, it's time. Fantasy Football 101. How Fantasy Football, that is. At least 29 million Americans are now playing 
with fantasy sports overall exploding into a nearly $11 billion industry. Frankly, it's genius on the part of all the powers that be that are involved with, with gambling, with foot fantasy, and with the NFL. You create a whole new reason to be watching and to care. In the context of fantasy football, women make up nearly 38% of fantasy football participants and represent its fastest growing demographic. If boys can do it, like, why can't we do it? That was kind of like our thought process. Marjorie Nichols, Sidney Schmitzer, and Michelle Mary Aiken are the new age of fantasy football managers, running their Girls Rule Boys Drool League with their all-female friends. It's just a really great way to become interested, even if it's like talking points to your boyfriend or just doing something as with a group of girls that you can bond over or something new. I think that a lot of women maybe are intimidated to start something like this. As long as you have a girl group, like you can you can do this fantasy football thing too. It's not just reserved for the boys. Mackenzie Brooks, social media star and fantasy football guru, agrees. I think it gives women, if they don't have a team that they necessarily love or have a player that they love, this gives them, you know, a roster to hyper fixate on. Let's break down the positions on a football field and why the guys play the positions that they do. Using her football knowledge, she's teaching the next generation of fans on TikTok how to do it too. I'm making these videos and women are commenting that I taught them something in 30 seconds that it took their husband 10 years to try to teach them and, and you know it made more sense coming from a woman which just goes to show how powerful it is to have someone that looks like you maybe explaining things or being up there in the sports broadcast area one thing is for sure football is back and bigger than ever i think this year is massive for the nfl because now they have a entirely new demographic to please I think it's especially powerful that the team that this new demographic is following happens to be one of the best football teams maybe ever in history.